Welcome back to the Goshen College Bachelorette. Last week, we met all the contestants and Emma sent home Caleb and Phil. This week, she goes on a two-on-one date with Joel and Anna and has some one-on-one time with the contestants before sending more people home. Plus, the arrival of a new contestant? All that and more on the Goshen College Bachelorette. lot of cars and we you see that really really nice Prius over there that's my Prius Ooh, I don't actually like Priuses um, the environment she likes Cadillac I like, like the one big, I drove yeah. up in yeah. yeah the louder it is and the more gas it uses the better <laughs> those trees right oh for real oh look there's a basketball hoop do you like playing basketball I'm absolutely trash at basketball. I'll trash you in basketball. Oh my god. You don't need to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Interjection. She literally broke up our date. What? what? What do you mean? We were having our beautiful one-to-one conversation and she had to come in and ruin it. Oh, I... Yeah. I don't it. To apologize because um, I know I came off like a little bit strong, but I just wanted to show you that like we can be like the best roommate couple ever. Like honestly, I appreciate that. And of course. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I have a double standard. Like totally, when men come off as like aggressive and strong, that's eh, kind of a turn off. But when women, oh my gosh, fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I'm actually a little bit now. I feel like I've been ignoring you. No, it's okay. You do what you want to do. We're okay. I just want you to be happy. Um, so I just, I kind of want to get to know you guys better. Um, what's your, what's your deepest fear? Start with these Prions. Misfolded proteins in the brain that infect other proteins and they misfold and then you just have a neurodegenerative disease. And they're how, incurable. How, how likely is this to happen? I don't know, but it's all... The, the chances of getting prion are slim, but never zero. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Joel? I'm scared that one day I'm going to end up in a viral TikTok and look silly. This TikTok is silly, and I'm not silly. I'm, I'm a very sincere person. Honestly, that's a, that's a valid fear. Plus, I don't, got, I don't got moves. If it would be on TikTok, it would be funny man falls on face, not a new breakdance challenge. I think that'd be kind of, I mean, you're still famous, though. Good famous, bad famous. Is there, though? Just famous. That is true. What's your deepest fear? That's a really good question. I haven't really thought much of that, honestly. I am scared of getting old. But Emma, at least we could go roll together at Greencroft. Yeah, that adds to my <laughs> So nice. So beautiful. about Fiddler Pond. Holy s***. Oh, oh, careful. Oh my god. We're gonna open oh, <laughs> That was, that was, okay. I thought we were gonna die. You, like, what's your most traumatic story? Well, I will say, I, I had a pretty good childhood. Okay. But there was one incident in particular that really scarred me. Oh. So, 
Anna told you how she was scared because she was, you know, stealing and got caught, right? Yeah. yeah well, yeah. there was one incident that the parents never found out about because I was scared of what they would have done if they would have found her. I built a little, like, stick teepee. And, like, they had a sleeping bag, and I was, like, you know, having a nice time sleeping outside in a little fort that I made. Oh. And I woke up in the middle of the night, and I smelled something burning. Anna lit the teepee on fire and tried to kill me when I was sleeping. It was horrifically traumatic, and even now, if I... If I look at sticks, it it still hurts a little bit. Oh, it's oh my! Just, yeah. It's, so why why do you think she did that? Like what? I what I, 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 her to... I don't know. I, <laughs> she's she's a nice person, but she's just she has a vendetta against you. I don't know. I I think that she just has. She's just predisposed predisposed to criminal activities like arson, larceny, stealing, grand theft auto, wire fraud, you know. Her future has many things in store for her. Okay, probably okay. behind bars. Oh, well, okay. So did your siblings ever do anything like that to you when you were growing up? Uh, no. My brother's actually, like, really sweet. But I might have done something like that to him. with both of you guys today. It was so nice getting to know you and it's just gorgeous out here. Uh, but unfortunately, I only have one leaf to give. So I'm going to give it to you. Sorry, it means this is the end of your journey mm -hmm. with us. Thank you so much for being on the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Hi everyone, and welcome to the cocktail party. And Emma, we actually have a surprise for you. Um, Gabe, can you come out? So we brought in a new contestant. Surprise, this is Gabe. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Good. I'm really excited to get to know Gabe better. He seems really chill, really laid back, easygoing. So I'm, yeah, I'm just curious to see where that will go. Before Emma gives out the Leafs in the Leaf ceremony, she'll have a chance to talk to all the contestants. So, Gabe, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, well, my name's Gabe. I'm from Georgia. Um, I'm a banker, actually. Um, yeah, first minority banker in my town. Wow. Yeah, right, it's crazy. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. How long have you been a banker for? <sighs> Three years now. Three years, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. It's impressive. I hate it. Um, you hate it? Yeah, oh, but it pays well, so. Okay, so you're in it for the money. Yeah. How much are we talking? <sighs> Guess you'll have to see. Oh, okay. Interesting. So. You don't like anything about being a banker. Like, if I asked you what your favorite part was, you no. just have no answer. Yeah. Just the money. Yeah, okay. Just money. Solid. Um. Yeah. So, where in Georgia are you from? I'm from Atlanta, actually. Oh, oh mm -hmm. my goodness. Uh, can you name one other town in Georgia besides Atlanta for me? Lagrange. Okay, that's fair. I don't know anything. So, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, that's a great question. What do I do for fun? I uh, invest in NFTs. So, can you explain to mm -hmm. me what an NFT is? Because I see these like. Yeah, no, yeah. Monkeys, I just, Honestly, yeah. I don't even know. I'm just pouring money into it, hoping for the best. Okay, yeah, yeah that sounds like a really smart decision. And they taught you that in banking no, school. Yeah, 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 that sounds yeah. like really good money management. They said just, you know, full stack, yeah. live high um, above. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, what's your, what's your, like, catchphrase <sighs> in life here? Yeah. You know, honestly, a lot lately, or recently, okay. I've been saying live, laugh, love a lot. Mm. Mm. You know? So like middle-aged white lady wall vibes. No, yeah, for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So you're new here, and mm -hmm. I was just wondering, kind of, what what are you looking for? Honestly, I'm ready to settle down. I don't want to be a banker anymore. Oh. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just want to, you know, be at home, you know, and just settle down, live life. I like it. Yeah. All right. It's great to meet you. You as well. Thank you. You know, I thought our interaction was pretty nice. Um, I might have laid it on a bit too heavy, um, although I am a banker and, you know, love to invest my money in NFTs, even though I don't know what it is. Um, you know, I'm a soft guy. I, I want to settle down. I want a family, you know, suburb life or not. I love to travel. Um, so I know I thought I thought it went pretty well. When I first walked in, I could I felt some tension because the contestants looked really mad at me. Um, I didn't go through the first couple of weeks of voting and, you know, I might have gotten a free card, but I'm here, you know, I'm gonna win. Hey, Jackson. Hey, how have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. I've been pretty good, yeah, how about you? Doing good, doing good. Um, last time you, you saw me, actually wasn't wearing glasses, but oh. now I am. Okay, do I've you like have contacts? Uh, last time I wasn't even wearing uh, contacts, I just, uh, I didn't really wanna get to know the contestants very well, so I just thought, oh, I just gotta, gotta clear myself and only focus on the main goal. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, so where are you from? Tell me a little about yourself. Well, I'm originally from um, Honduras. That's actually uh, inside of Mexico. And uh, then I and then I was from South Carolina. That's actually like under um, East Carolina. And then I moved to Plymouth, Indiana, very close to Goshen, Indiana. And then I just kind of hopped over to here, Goshen, Indiana. And now I live here. OK. Um, your geography spot on. Yeah, yeah I know. Some spot on. Um, okay, so what do you like to do? Like, what's your what's your hobbies? Um, I like to I like to do uh, I like acting. Every so often, I'll just uh, pull out um, you know like little accents. Um, so if I ever just like talk to you, can and you I'm do an just... accent for me? No. What do you no? No, I you just said you, I literally you do acting. I do it. I do it, but like. Only if like people like ask nicely. Can you please do an accent for me? Yeah, man. <clears throat> Jackson, yeah, Jackson did not have a great knowledge of geography, um, which is very problematic to me because I am kind of a geography fiend. It's something I'm very passionate about, and I just need to ultimately be with somebody that also shares my love of and knowledge for geography. That was a joke. Like, I'm from Honduras. How would I think that Mexico's in, that Honduras is in Mexico? I was just goofing off. I was just, there's no such thing as East Carolina. I'm not a, I'm not an idiot. Of course, I mean, like, I wouldn't want to be with someone where I'm making jokes. I, like, I'm just, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing around. And then if someone doesn't understand what I'm saying, that doesn't make any sense. I'm. I'm just here to make a little jokes. I'm a little jokester. I'm a little jester. Hey, Mom. Hey, Carlos. How you been? How you been? Uh, pretty good, honestly. How about pretty you? Good. Um, yeah, you know, I've been like uh, kind of sick recently. Been oh, throwing up. Oh. Um, not a big deal though. It's unfortunate. Just like, like food you, poisoning. Food poisoning. Oh, yeah. Do you know where you got it from? Uh, you know, probably the rot. Just like you know, avoid pretty, the rot. Pretty okay, common. Got it. Well, got you can't you can't do that if you have a meal plan here, but okay. yeah. That's unfortunate. Um, last time we talked, yeah. you were telling me about your kid. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, I do uh, tend to talk about my kid a lot, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did say that you might be able to uh, meet them. Are you, uh, you still cool with that? Sure, yeah. Okay. But... All right, well, just like. <laughs> <clears throat> so this is my kid, uh, Barry. Um, he has a name, uh, Barry. I, I named him Barry. Um, anyways, uh, say, say, say hi, Barry. Hi. He's hi. not. He's not saying hi. I'm so sorry. Barry gets very shy. Um, so this is this is my son. Um, were you expecting like something different, or like is this, is this um, what you were expecting? I was assuming more like a human child. Honestly, um, oh but wait, seriously? Yeah, that's typically what people mean when they say they have. Okay, well, this a this uh, Barry means a lot to me. I just okay. I, I just I'm just letting you know he means a lot okay. to me. So just just chill out a little bit. Um, I was expecting this to go a little bit differently, honestly, Qu quite honestly. Um, you know what? You know what? You know what, Barry? Time time to say goodbye. 
Oh, oh, that's. You just. He's you not. He's not. Him. He's not like a human. You just so said he means a lot to you, and I, you just like. Is that what you do to things? Is that what you do to things that mean a lot thrown. to you? He likes to be thrown. <sighs> that was one of the most awkward things I've ever had to experience, and it's at a very big stage in my life. Um, I, I honestly could not believe what was going on as it was going on. I was like stumbling with my words. I didn't know if Barry was, uh, you know, my rock uh, son. I didn't know if he was, um, you know, offended by what Emma was saying to him. It was just unbelievable. I thought she would, uh, you know, just get me a little bit more. I guess we're just very different people. Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't think throwing Barry uh, held my chances at all. That was a very big like gut decision that I decided to make just randomly. I don't know why I did it. It happened. Uh, it's in the past. You know, if she could look past that, I think we could, like, have a, you know, a nice life together, you know? That's, like, where I'm at. Like, you know, if she can't understand that me throwing Barry was just part of our life together, then I don't know if, where we can go from here. I was not expecting uh, Carlos's child to be the way it was. Uh, he presented it uh, very misleadingly. A little concerned, just kind of what's going on up there, um, he seemed very attached to it, and then he threw it, which is not necessarily how I would expect some, th someone who loves something like that to just behave. Um, so that, that's definitely something to kind of keep in mind. Welcome to the leaf ceremony. Emma, you have two leaves to hand out. This week was a little bit easier to kind of rationalize. Um, People have gotten second chances, and I think I've made up my mind for this leave ceremony. Again, it's hard, it's always hard to have to send people home, but based on some of the performances tonight, I think I know who's got to go. I am nervous um, because, like I said, I didn't get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Emma, but I'm trying to stay confident, trying to stay positive. Um, as we lead into the ceremony, I am, I'm nervous, but I don't know how to explain it. I'm definitely nervous and I don't know why. I feel like I have a good chance. I feel like I'm, I'm going to stay, but everything could change, so who knows. This has been a really hard decision for me. Sad. Will you accept this leave? Course. I'm so excited that I'm moving on. Next week is my week. I'm gonna get more time with Emma and let's go. I am ready. You know, honestly, I didn't think I was gonna stay. I, you know, I thought we had a good connection, but I'm stoked she picked me or she let me stay. Um, I didn't know how it was gonna go. I laid it on a bit thick. But, you know, in the long term, it paid off, so I'm just stoked. Carlos, Jackson, I'm sorry. You've not received a leave, and you'll have to go home. I'm sorry. Say your goodbyes. I'm sorry. I can't believe this. I'm sorry. I think she sent me home because she's not ready for something like me. She's not ready for something like me. I'm a great guy and she, she sees that. She just wants something, something that anybody can have and like, it's something simple, but I'm not simple. I'm worth more than that. Uh, I ultimately chose to send Jackson home just because the geography thing was really a turn off. That, that's what it comes down to, really. Emma, no, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Emma, if you're out there, if you're out there, just listen, you know, I know it didn't turn out how we wanted it to. I, I, was, I was in the wrong, yes, yes. I, the whole Barry rock thing, I don't, I don't even know where that came from. You know, Barry's a special, a special little rock to me, uh, but I just, I'm so sorry, you know. I felt like we could have had a life together, an actual marriage. 
between two people and it just all faded away tonight. Um, I don't know where to go from here. Is life real? Are we, are we real? I don't know. I certainly love is dead. That's, that's how I, that's how, that's how I'm handling it right now. Um, I sent Carlos home because ultimately the rock thing was just very strange and very concerning. Um, and I don't, I'm not in a stage where I'm ready to be a parent yet. So getting into that situation would just be really messy. I don't know. I don't know. Love, love is just a, just a far away star over there at this point, you know. Hey, hey girls, if you're, if you're watching now. So out of Sav, Anna, and Gabe, I don't really know who I'm feeling the most at this point. It's hard to say because I don't know Gabe super well yet, um, so I don't feel like it's really fair for me to make an assessment. Uh, but I do, I, Sav and Anna are just so great and that's gonna be a really hard decision to make. That's all for now, Maple Leafs. See you next week. No, none of these are my clothes. You really think I have nice clothes like these? No, not really at all. Whose clothes are they? Uh, he's like a not really well-known guy. He's a junior. His name like Diego Torres.